Have you ever wondered what makes a person face impossible odds with unshakable courage, earning a name remembered for centuries? What inner strength makes a warrior stand as a protector of his faith, defying powerful enemies and inspiring generations with his bravery? This is the story of Hamza ibn Abdul Muttalib, the Lion of Allah. Let us find out in today's video. Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel, Nasiha Studio. In this video, we will be talking about one of the uncles of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, who feared none and was so brave, so much so that Allah gave him the title of Lion of Allah. Hamza ibn Abdul Muttalib, Early Life and Background. Hamza ibn Abdul Muttalib, a name that would become synonymous with courage and honor, was born into the prestigious Quraysh tribe in Mecca around 568 CE. His father, Abdul Muttalib, was the leader of the Quraysh, and his mother, Hala bintu Haib, belonged to the Banu Zuhra clan. From an early age, Hamza was enveloped in an environment of nobility, leadership, and strong family ties, which profoundly shaped his character. Growing up in Mecca, Hamza was known for his striking physical presence. Tall, strong, and imposing, he excelled in the traditional skills of Arab warriors, such as archery, swordsmanship, and horseback riding. His prowess in hunting became legendary. He would often venture into the wilderness, demonstrating not only his skill, but also his fearlessness. These traits earned him the respect and admiration of his peers and elders alike. As a young man, Hamza was not just physically formidable, but also exhibited a natural charisma and leadership ability. He was known for his generous spirit and loyalty to his family and friends. The social fabric of Mecca at that time was woven with tribal affiliations and a strong sense of community, and Hamza was a central figure in these circles. His status as the son of Abdul Muttalib and his own personal qualities made him a person of significant influence. Despite the prestige and wealth of his family, Hamza's life was not without its challenges. The social and political landscape of Mecca was complex and often fraught with conflict. As the Quraysh tribe controlled the Kaaba, Mecca was a center of trade and pilgrimage, attracting diverse groups and fostering both alliances and rivalries. Amidst this, Hamza developed a keen understanding of leadership and diplomacy, skills that would later prove invaluable. Hamza's relationship with his nephew, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was particularly significant. Although initially not deeply involved in the religious aspects of Prophet Muhammad's peace be upon him, early revelations, Hamza held a deep affection and respect for him. Their bond was strengthened by shared experiences and mutual respect, setting the stage for Hamza's eventual pivotal role in the burgeoning Islamic movement. In his youth, Hamza witnessed the gradual yet profound changes that were beginning to sweep through Mecca. The early messages of Islam, preached by Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, were met with both curiosity and resistance. The Quraysh, custodians of the Kaaba and deeply entrenched in their polytheistic traditions, saw Prophet Muhammad's, peace be upon him, monotheistic teachings as a threat to their socio-economic status and religious authority. Amidst this backdrop, Hamza continued his life, honing his skills as a warrior and a leader, unaware that his destiny would soon be irrevocably intertwined with the mission of Islam. Hamza's transformation from a respected warrior of the Quraysh to one of the staunchest defenders of Islam began to take shape, driven by a series of events that would test his loyalty, courage, and faith. His early life, marked by strength, loyalty, and a sense of justice, laid the foundation for the heroic path he would soon embark upon, earning him the enduring title of the Lion of Allah. Conversion to Islam Hamza ibn Abdul Muttalib's conversion to Islam is one of the most dramatic and pivotal moments in Islamic history. It was a turning point that not only altered the course of Hamza's life, but also significantly strengthened the early Muslim community. The story begins with a day that started like any other. Hamza had been out hunting in the desert, a pastime he greatly enjoyed and excelled at. As he returned to Mecca, bow in hand and quiver on his back, he was greeted by an unusual commotion. It was a heated argument between his nephew, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and Abu Jahl, a staunch opponent of Islam and one of the most influential leaders of the Quraysh. 
Abu Jahl had publicly insulted and physically attacked Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, attempting to humiliate him in front of the gathered crowd. The harsh words and violence deeply upset. The Prophet, peace be upon him, but he remained composed, displaying the patience and dignity that were his hallmarks. Witnessing this injustice, a woman from the Banu Zura clan rushed to find Hamza, hoping that the renowned warrior would intervene. Hamza, upon hearing of the incident, was filled with righteous anger. He marched directly to the Kaaba, where Abu Jahl was still boasting about his actions. Without a moment's hesitation, Hamza struck Abu Jahl with his bow, causing him to fall to the ground. The blow was powerful, a testament to Hamza's strength and fury. What, will you abuse him now that I follow his religion? Hamza declared, his voice resonating with authority and conviction. This public declaration of his faith was not premeditated. It was a spontaneous and heartfelt response to the injustice he had witnessed. By aligning himself with Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, Hamza took a bold and irrevocable stand, knowing full well the repercussions this would bring from the Quraysh. This moment was significant for several reasons. Firstly, it was a powerful act of defiance against the Quraysh leaders, demonstrating that even their most respected warriors could be won over by the truth of Islam. Secondly, Hamza's conversion brought a newfound sense of security and strength to the Muslim community. With Hamza on their side, the Muslims gained a formidable protector and an influential advocate. Hamza's decision to embrace Islam was driven by more than just a sense of familial loyalty. Over time, he began to deeply understand and appreciate the teachings of Islam. The principles of justice, equality, and the worship of one God resonated with him, aligning with his own values and sense of integrity. His unconversion was not just a reaction to Abu Jahl's insult, it was a profound personal transformation that would shape his actions and beliefs for the rest of his life. From that day forward, Hamza became one of the most ardent supporters of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. His presence provided the early Muslims with both moral and physical support. He was involved in the discussions and strategies that helped the fledgling Muslim community navigate the increasingly hostile environment in Mecca. Hamza's conversion also had a ripple effect on the society around him. His bravery and public declaration inspired others to consider the message of Islam more seriously. People who had previously been too afraid to convert began to see that even the most respected and powerful members of the Quraysh could embrace the new faith. Hamza's journey to Islam was a testament to his character, a blend of loyalty, courage, and an unyielding sense of justice. It marked the beginning of a new chapter in his life, one where he would continue to stand at the forefront of the Muslim struggle, embodying the spirit of a true believer and a fearless warrior. The Battle of Badr, the Battle of Badr, fought in 624 CE, was a significant turning point for the early Muslim community, and Hamza ibn Abdul Muttalib's role in it was nothing short of legendary. This battle was the first major military encounter between the Muslims of Medina and the Quraysh of Mecca, and it marked the beginning of a series of conflicts that would shape the future of Islam. As the Muslim army prepared for battle, the atmosphere was tense. The Muslims were significantly outnumbered, with around 313 men compared to the Quraysh's 1,000. Despite this disparity, Prophet Art Muhammad, peace be upon him, remained steadfast and confident, inspiring his followers with his unwavering faith. Hamza, known for his prowess in combat and unyielding courage, was a central figure in the Muslim ranks. To distinguish himself on the battlefield, he wore a large ostrich feather on his chest, a symbol of his fierce warrior spirit. His presence alone boosted the morale of the Muslim soldiers, who looked to him for leadership and strength. The battle began with a series of duels, a customary prelude to full-scale combat. Hamza was among the first to step forward, challenging the champions of the Quraysh. His opponent was Sheba ibn Rabia, a seasoned warrior known for his strength and skill. The duel was fierce, but Hamza's superior combat, abilities and indomitable spirit quickly became evident. With a powerful strike, he defeated Sheba, sending a wave of confidence through the Muslim ranks. As the full battle commenced, Hamza's ferocity and skill in combat were on full display. He fought with unmatched bravery, 
cutting through the enemy lines with his sword and inspiring his fellow soldiers to press forward despite the odds. His courage and tactical acumen were crucial in the Muslim victory at Badr, a victory that held deep symbolic and strategic significance for the nascent Muslim community. The victory at Badr was not just a military triumph, it was also a validation of the Muslim faith and a testament to the leadership of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. The Quraysh, who had previously viewed the Muslims with contempt, were forced to acknowledge their strength and resolve. This battle also demonstrated the divine support that the Muslims believed they had, further solidifying their commitment to the cause. For Hamza, the Battle of Badr cemented his reputation as one of the most formidable warriors in the Muslim community. His role in the battle earned him immense respect and admiration, both from his fellow Muslims and from those who heard of his exploits. The title, Lion of Allah, which had already begun to take root, now seemed even more fitting as tales of his bravery and heroism spread. The aftermath of the battle was a time of reflection and gratitude for the Muslim community. They had overcome significant odds to secure a decisive victory, and they recognized the importance of unity and faith in achieving their goals. Hamza's contributions were celebrated, and he continued to be a key figure in the ongoing struggle for the survival and expansion of Islam. The Battle of Badr also had profound personal significance for Hamza. It reinforced his commitment to the principles of Islam and strengthened his bond with Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. He had seen firsthand the power of faith and the importance of standing firm in the face of adversity. These lessons would guide him in the future battles and challenges that lay ahead. In the years following the Battle of Badr, Hamza remained a stalwart defender of Islam, participating in subsequent battles and continuing to inspire his fellow Muslims with his courage and dedication. His legacy as a warrior and a believer was firmly established, and his actions at Badr became a defining chapter in the story of Islam's early days. The Lion of Allah, Hamza ibn Abdul Muttalib's valor and unwavering faith earned him the esteemed title of Asadullah, or Lion of Allah. This honor was not merely a reflection of his prowess in battle, but also his steadfast dedication to the cause of Islam and his unshakable belief in its principles. The title, Lion of Allah, encapsulated the essence of Hamza's character. Lions are known for their strength, courage, and leadership, qualities that Hamza embodied both on and off the battlefield. His courage was not the reckless bravery of a warrior seeking glory, but the considered valor of a man devoted to justice and the protection of his people. Hamza's fearlessness and leadership were evident in every conflict he participated in. He was always at the forefront, leading by example and inspiring those around him with his bravery. His actions were guided by a deep sense of purpose and an unwavering belief in the teachings of Islam, which he had embraced so fervently. Beyond his physical prowess, Hamza was also known for his strong moral character. He was deeply committed to the principles of equality and justice that Islam espoused. He treated his fellow Muslims with respect and compassion, regardless of their social status or background. This egalitarian approach endeared him to many and helped to foster a sense of unity and solidarity within the Muslim community. One of the most notable aspects of Hamza's leadership was his ability to inspire others. His presence on the battlefield was a source of immense confidence for the Muslim soldiers. They knew that, with Hamza leading them, they had a formidable warrior who would fight with everything he had to secure victory. His example encouraged others to rise to their full potential, pushing through fear and doubt to achieve greatness. Hamza's title, Lion of Allah, also served as a symbolic reminder of the divine support that the Muslims believed they had. His bravery and successes in battle were seen as manifestations of this support, reinforcing the idea that their cause was righteous and blessed. This belief further strengthened the resolve of the Muslim community, encouraging them to persevere even in the face of overwhelming odds. Despite his fearsome reputation as a warrior, Hamza was also known for his kindness and generosity. He was a protector of the weak and a champion of the oppressed. His compassion extended to all, whether they were fellow Muslims or not, reflecting the inclusive and merciful nature of Islam. This combination of strength and compassion made him a beloved figure among the early Muslims. 
Hamza's role as the Lion of Allah was not limited to the battlefield. He was also a key advisor to Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, providing counsel and support during times of both peace and conflict. His wisdom and experience were invaluable assets to the Muslim leadership, helping to guide the community through its formative years. The respect and admiration that Hamza commanded were evident in the way he was regarded by both friends and foes. Even those who opposed Islam could not deny his bravery and integrity. His reputation as a fearless and honorable warrior transcended religious and tribal boundaries, earning him a place of honor in the annals of history. Hamza's legacy as the Lion of Allah continues to inspire Muslims around the world. His life is a testament to the power of faith, courage, and unwavering commitment to justice. His story serves as a reminder that true strength lies not just in physical might, but in the integrity of one's character and the righteousness of one's cause. In every battle he fought, in every decision he made, Hamza ibn Abdul Muttalib embodied the spirit of a true warrior of faith. His life and legacy are enduring symbols of the courage and dedication that lie at the heart of Islam. The Battle of Uhud. The Battle of Uhud, fought in 625 CE, was a pivotal moment in the early history of Islam. This battle tested the resolve and unity of the Muslim community and highlighted the bravery and sacrifice of its key figures, including Hamza ibn Abdul Muttalib. Following their defeat at the Battle of Badr, the Quraysh of Mecca were determined to avenge their loss and crush the burgeoning Muslim community. They assembled a large army and marched towards Medina intending to engage the Muslims in a decisive battle. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and his companions, aware of the Quraysh's plans, prepared to defend their city. The Muslim forces, numbering around 700, positioned themselves strategically at the foot of Mount Uhud. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, placed a group of archers on a hill to protect the rear of the Muslim army, instructing them to hold their position, no matter what happened. Hamza, as always, was at the forefront, ready to lead the charge against the Quraysh. The battle began with intense fighting. Hamza, wearing his distinctive ostrich feather, fought with unmatched ferocity. His presence on the battlefield was a beacon of inspiration for the Muslim soldiers. With each swing of his sword, he cut down his enemies, pushing the Quraysh back and creating chaos in their ranks. His bravery and skill were on full display, and he was truly the embodiment of the Lion of Allah. Despite the initial success of the Muslim forces, the tide of the battle began to turn due to a critical mistake. The archers, seeing the apparent retreat of the Quraysh, left their positions on the hill to join in the pursuit and collect the spoils of war. This left the Muslim army vulnerable to a counterattack. Khalid ibn al-Walid, a skilled commander of the Quraysh, saw the opportunity and led a cavalry charge around the now unguarded hill, attacking the Muslims from the rear. The sudden assault caused confusion and panic among the Muslim ranks. Amidst the chaos, Hamza continued to fight valiantly, trying to rally the soldiers and hold the line. However, tragedy struck when Washi, an Abyssinian slave fighting for the Quraysh, targeted Hamza. Washi had been promised freedom by Hind bint Utba, the wife of Abu Sufyan, if he could kill Hamza in revenge for the deaths of her relatives at Badr. Using his skill as a javelin thrower, Washi hurled a spear that struck Hamza with deadly precision. Hamza fell to the ground, mortally wounded. His death was a devastating blow to the Muslim forces, both strategically and emotionally. The sight of their fearless leader falling in battle shook the resolve of the soldiers, and the Muslim forces were forced to retreat to the safety of the mountain. Despite the setback, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and his companions regrouped and managed to avoid a complete rout. The battle ended inconclusively, but the loss of Hamza was deeply felt. His death was not only a personal loss for Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, who mourned his beloved uncle, but also a significant loss for the Muslim community as a whole. After the battle, the Quraysh mutilated the bodies of the fallen Muslims, including Hamza's, in a horrific act of vengeance. When Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, found Hamza's body, he was overcome with grief. However, he held firm to his principles, forbidding any retaliation in kind, and instead prayed for the fallen martyrs. Hamza's martyrdom at the Battle of Uhud became a powerful symbol of sacrifice and steadfastness, 
in the face of adversity. His bravery and unwavering commitment to the cause of Islam were celebrated and remembered by the Muslim community. The story of his heroic last stand continued to inspire future generations of Muslims, serving as a reminder of the cost of faith and the importance of perseverance. Hamza ibn Abdul Muttalib's legacy as the Lion of Allah was solidified through his actions and ultimate sacrifice at Uhud. His life and death epitomized the virtues of courage, loyalty, and faith that lie at the heart of Islam. Even in death, Hamza's spirit lived on, a beacon of inspiration for all who strive to uphold the values of truth and justice, legacy and impact. The legacy of Hamza ibn Abdul Muttalib, the Lion of Allah, is profound and enduring. His life, marked by bravery, faith and justice, continues to inspire Muslims worldwide. After his martyrdom at the Battle of Uhud, the Muslim community deeply mourned his loss. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, often spoke of Hamza with great respect, reinforcing his sacrifice as a powerful example of ultimate dedication to Islam. Hamza's legacy has several key impacts. Inspiration. Hamza's story of courage and sacrifice is a source of moral and spiritual inspiration. His life exemplifies the virtues of bravery and steadfast faith. Military leadership. His strategic brilliance and fearless leadership in battles like Badr and Uhud serve as lessons in military tactics and personal valor. Cultural significance. His grave at Uhud is a pilgrimage site, and stories of his heroism are deeply woven into Islamic cultural heritage. Symbol of resilience. Hamza's stand against the Quraysh symbolizes resistance and resilience, inspiring Muslims to remain steadfast in their faith and struggle for justice. Inspiring Muslims to remain steadfast in their faith and struggle for justice. Hamza's life is used in Islamic education to teach values such as bravery, loyalty, and sacrifice, encouraging young Muslims to embody these principles. Hamza's legacy as the Lion of Allah is a testament to the enduring power of faith and sacrifice. His story continues to guide and inspire the Muslim community, serving as a reminder of the values at the heart of Islam. Hamza ibn Abdul Muttalib, the Lion of Allah, is a lasting symbol of valor, faith, and dedication to justice. His journey from a respected warrior of the Quraysh to a staunch defender of Islam exemplifies the transformative power of faith. Hamza's courageous defense of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and his pivotal role in battles like Badr and Uhud showcased his unmatched bravery and leadership. His martyrdom at Uhud was a profound loss, but also underscored his ultimate sacrifice for the cause of Islam. His legacy continues to inspire through stories, art, and education, embodying the virtues of bravery, sacrifice, and steadfast faith. Hamza's life reminds us that unwavering commitment to one's beliefs, coupled with courage and integrity, can leave an indelible mark on history. Thanks for tuning in to today's video. If you enjoyed this video and found it interesting, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe for more content celebrating the Islamic heritage. Your support really helps spread these important stories and teachings. We hope that Allah brings peace, happiness, and success to you and your family.